talking about the guiding hands with them this morning. I don't know how to use them, need guidance. I want to big out to all of the youths and we are keeping them eyes on the prize. And always stay out of trouble. In these times, you got to be focused. Life is not a game, it's for real. I want to use them to stay in school and face the real deal. Making fast cash is not the way. Thoughts like that can lead you astray. Sometimes making a little quick move on selling some drugs might get you ahead. But believe you me, it's one of the easiest ways to get you dead. So I'm talking to the youths. Don't be stupid, don't be fool. Get good education and stay in school. Just let us proud and be loud. It's at 2.22 in the morning. Remember, destination is for... We're broadcasting live on CKT 90.3 FM, Montreal, Canada. It is. It's your boy singing Pee-wee all over the radio. Earlier on, I told you we're going to be talking to someone over there in... The the, uh, the Queen City, Toronto. We're going to get some insight of what took place uh, earlier on. At this, uh, uh, what do you call it, relief really fund party, our show. So we're going to go straight to the phone line with no further delay. I want to say welcome. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Miss. Uh... Good morning, Singing P. You don't know it's DJ Bubbles from Toronto. Thanks for having me. You're very well coming on. D- um, DJ Bubbles, you said? Oh, yes. Bubbles. Bubbles. All right. I like that. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, I want to say welcome, welcome. And for the people um, who don't know who is uh, Bubbles, you know, just give us a little bit of insight about Bubbles right now. Okay. Well, ironically, my hometown is Montreal. I'm from uh, NDG, but then I moved over to Ontario, as you say, the Queen City. Um, I'm Bubbles from Island Beats Magazine Radio and Promotions. I'm actually the CEO. And I heard you were talking about the hurricane relief that went down today in uh, Toronto at the Sony Center. It was a really wonderful event and the cause was uh, awesome. The hurricane relief. Okay, so how so how did how, um how did that went then? Because you, you said it was uh it was well oh, attended. Okay. Yeah, it was wonderful. I was attended as a media personnel, so mm-hmm. I kind of got to see the performance and also interact with the performers. Mm-hmm. Um, the brand Q, they did a great job. Um, I got to speak with Nadine Spencer. She basically put the whole event together. Mm-hmm. Um, there were some nice artists, uh, Chris Martin, D Major, Taurus Riley, um, uh, the legendary Dean Fraser, Allison Hines. Um, it was it was wonderful. It was really great, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically, it was all in relation to the hurricane relief, um, getting some funds together to help out the, our friends in the Caribbean who were impacted by the hurricane, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so um, what was the attendance like? It was a pretty good attendance. Like, the Sony Center is really big. Mm-hmm. Um, it's my first time ever being in there, ironically, but the attendance was great, and... Uh, it was just a harmonious environment. Like there was no hostility. Um, everybody treated everybody with respect. Mm-hmm. Um, the flow of things, the organization was flawless. You know mm-hmm. um, how I was able to attend. I have to pick up uh, Rocco Ricardo mm-hmm. uh, from Rodeo 
promotions over here in Toronto um, made it possible for Island Beach to attend. And um, it was really wonderful. It was a great experience. Lots of media people from different media houses over here mm -hmm. in Toronto. It was amazing. So tell me But something. Thing, so tell me something. Um, As you're right. talking right now, which one of the artists would you say that really, you know what I mean, sparks? I know everybody is great, but, you know, which artist you would say right now that really sweep everybody off their feet? Well, I'll give you a review on both ends of the scope. Okay. In terms of entertainment, it's a hard call because each artist had their own unique way to engage the crowd and uh, the crowd was singing along and, you know, each artist did a great job. So it would be difficult for me mm -hmm. to say um, who was the best. We all know that Taurus Riley is the son of legendary Jimmy Riley. So, of course, he had a slight edge, but the major Chris, uh, they even had an upcoming artist, G-Lock. He was really great. Um, they all, I mean, with each artist that you spoke to, they were all commending that it's a worthy cause. Mm -hmm. So I think because of the cause itself, They went above and beyond to um, do a dynamic performance. So it's hard for me to um, rate it on a competitive level. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair yes. enough. Everybody, everybody is unique in their own way. That, that, that Definitely. Definitely. But I would say that a lot of people who are crowded around Taurus just because You know, I mean, especially with the song, She's Royal, that definitely mm -hmm. locked the crowd. But then also he has a slight edge, the fact that his father kind of paved the way, not just for him, mm -hmm. but other artists in the industry. True. So, for real. So, so can we look for any more of this uh, concert continuing anywhere else or is it just a well, one-time thing? I, the, the, at the, based on the rapport of everybody this evening, mm -hmm. I would I could see this happening again. Brad Q did a good job. Um, Ricardo Henry, who promoted the event, he was amazing. Um, it was just a great, great event, you know. My heart goes out to anyone that missed it, especially in the GTA, you know. Mm-hmm. But they did a good job. I give them a 20 stars rating, you know? Okay. Well, well, you know what? I'm, one thing I must say, now, one thing I know about Toronto, when you have great shows coming to Toronto, you know, the people don't prepare for it and really attend and support it, which is what I really like about Toronto when oh, they have wow. live shows, you know? Yeah, but, so so for your for you for you where um the entertainment is concerned um you have anything going on anywhere anytime any then anywhere soon um well my company we're gonna be traveling out at the end of this month mm -hmm. to the caribbean um we have amsterdam next next year just touring around looking at the reggae industry Mm -hmm. uh, from different perspectives, different cultures, just to see how different people connect to reggae, which is definitely universal singing piece, as I'm sure you must know. Definitely, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it was your birthday, so happy belated as well. Yeah, man, thank you. Enough manners and respect, you know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> yeah, man, we have to just keep uh, you know, the joy alive, you know what I mean, while we're here, because you don't know, everybody is here, and then we we'll definitely have to leave. So exactly. while we're here, we're going to be full <laughs> joy ourselves, you know. I agree totally. I just want, if you don't mind, I wanted to bless up a few people in my hometown. Yeah, man, go ahead. First, my girl, Dorothy, who does an amazing job on CKUT, alongside Chris on Sundays. And, of course, to the queen of queens, Yvonne Jacobson. I just want to send her a big bless up. Mm -hmm. And uh, much love to Montreal out there. You know, that's where I'm from. So my roots will always be 
to the east of Toronto. All right. Well, you know, bless up, you know, guess what happened, you know, I, w- I will be, you know, any, anything special going on, you know what I mean, and you do, but definitely would like you to just give us a call and enlighten Montreal what took place so we can yeah, feel like we were word. a part of it, you know? <laughs> you have my word. Yeah, we're pretty close. And like I said, you know, if you ask me to compare the provinces, mm-hmm. I would say Quebec is number one. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I'm being biased. <laughs> <laughs> it's so and so. <laughs> For me, that's my hometown. My hometown. All right, well, bless up yourself and your sister, you know what I mean? You too, singing to you. It's a pleasure to have you in uh, Montreal. Um, I'm DJ Bubbles from Island Beats Radio Magazine and Promotions. And uh, you bless up too. And all the Montreal masters, Bonne Louis. Yeah, man, well, you hear what, what Bell said just before you go, right? You, you say, hello? Hi. Yeah, just before you leave, um, you, you say um, from the magazine. Yes. Um, let, let, I, let's, let's give us a little bit, uh, uh, you know, a, a synopsis about this magazine before you leave. Okay. So we had uh, originally started off in 2009, mm-hmm. but then we kind of revamped the whole island beat. And then we just recently launched back the magazine in April. It's a quarterly magazine. We cover entertainment mainly in the reggae industry. Mm -hmm. Although we're not just, we don't just stay in the reggae industry. Like we're Mm -hmm. open, but predominantly in the reggae industry. We cover entertainment venues, interviews, upcoming artists. Anything under the umbrella of music and entertainment and some film as well. So we have a digital version Mm -hmm. and we also print. So it comes out January, April, July and October. Okay. Quarterly. Quarterly, okay. Perfect, perfect. So where so where the people can we be able to get this magazine and find it? Is is that only online? You can get it online. You can also order it, a uh, printed copy. Mm-hmm. We do distribute mainly in Toronto, but as the New Year's approaching, we're expanding that to uh, distribute even further than Toronto. Um, but mainly, I would say for the time being, you could find us online. So it's Island Beach magazine do a search and google and it'll come up because we're the only island beach magazine out there okay island beach and this is for in from based in toronto well i'm based in toronto so yes although we do have um i have an editor from ghana africa mm-hmm. he writes the african entertainment news mm-hmm. each quarter um, he'll give me a rundown. He'll write an article about what's new, what's going on in the reggae sector in Africa. So um, mm. we have African news, Canadian, Jamaican. The great thing about technology is that you could combine the world in one place mm-hmm. without paying for it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I hope us, I hope us, I hope us. Well, that sounds good and pretty interesting. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully one of these days, singing people will be at the magazine. Of course. <laughs> when I come down, you know, the next time I come home, yeah. I'll pass through and definitely um, give you enlighten me more and stuff. All right. You know. Sounds good. Sure. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sure. All, All right. right. So, respect and big up yourself once again, you know what I mean? And thanks for calling. You know what I mean? Oh, and no and give us that info. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right. And uh, bless up yourself, Montreal. Good night. All right. Okay, Bubbles, big up yourself. You don't know that was just the inside of what took place over there in Toronto, the Hurricane Relief Fund. You know what I mean? Whatever funds are, um, um, are made is going to help the people who suffer in the, the, that hurricane there, man. That was terrible. I wasn't, you know, I didn't even have an experience of that hurricane. But when I see what it, what, it, what damage has done, I'm like, wow. 
We gotta be grateful. We gotta be grateful. I wanna say big up to. I wanna say big up to Miss Jacob once again. Big up yourself. Jammer Records. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. Internationalhype.com. Big up. It's at 2.36 in the morning. Remember, our destination is... Destination is four. And we're going to pay some bills. And when we come back, it's all about music, music, and reasoning galore. 